Greetings. Greetings and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to do some cooking. I went to bed last night with some real cornmeal dumpling and tin mackerel on my mind. So, as you know, today is Sunday, the 7th of June, 2020. So, the shop's not open here until 10. So, I decided to go and get some, some mackerel. So, today is my catch and cook. There you go. Please like, leave me a comment on the comment section. Please share this video and don't forget to subscribe. This is where we go back to our roots, our culture. Because in the Caribbean, people eat tin mackerel a lot. So I am one of the kids who grew up eating tin mackerel. And it's something that will stay with me forever, as long as there is tin mackerel. Well, it's something I don't eat really often. But then again, guys, I do not eat meat. I eat a little bit of fish. I tried vegan before and it was it was a little bit too deep. So I, I find myself falling back into a little bit of fish and my vegetables. So maybe soon I'll, I'll stop eating the fish because these fish here in England is not real fish. They're not from the ocean. You know what I mean. So today I'm going to cook my tin mackerel and some real time cornmeal dumpling. So here we go. We've got the flour here. That's a pack of plain flour. I've got my tin mackerel. I, I don't so much love these big tins. I like the small ones. I think the small ones taste better. But when I when I went to catch, I couldn't catch a big a, a small one. There were pure big ones in the ocean, so I catch this big one, which I would rather a couple of small ones. You got it. So I've got my sweet pepper here. I like to cook it with a little bit of cucumber so I've got a cucumber here I've got my tomato I've got some garlic there and onions I've got my pepper and I've got my oil no I don't use regular oil really so this oil is for roasting but it is infused with so much different things so it says cold pressed rapeseed oil infused with rosemary garlic thyme and sage i like this this oil very much because as you can see the bottom there it's got all the um herbal seasoning in there so it's infused with it so i like to use this oil so that's what i'm going to use to prepare my tin mackerel and i've got some cornmeal in my cupboard because this is one house that's never run out of cornmeal. Cornmeal is good for so many things. You can use it to make a porridge. No one again, I feel like some cornmeal pudding. So you can make a cornmeal pudding, you make a cornmeal dumpling. Even turn cornmeal. As a kid, we grew up on turn cornmeal as well because my grandfather used to love turn cornmeal. So it's something that is embedded in, hope, in our culture. Yeah. So off I am, guys. I'm going to do all my preparation and I'll get back to you and show you um, what I've done. All right. I'll speak to you later. So, as you can see there, guys, there's my cornmeal and my um, plain flour. The one on the left is the cornmeal and they call it polenta. And, and they have Duns River on the back. I don't know if it's come from Duns, Duns River. So that's what I'm cooking today. Some cornmeal dumpling. All right. Yeah, guys, we're back. We're back with cooking some cornmeal dumpling, dumplings and some tin mackerel. 
I have been wanting this since last night. I nearly get out of my bed to cook some, but it was late and I was in pain. Yeah? So, this is the cornmeal I'm using. It's a um, polenta. And this is my plain flour, as you have already seen that. Now, this is my... I think every kitchen, every kitchen must have a pot like this. It's an old frying pan, but I can't get rid of it. So I'm going to use it to cook up my mackerel. I've gone into so many kitchens and seen an old pan like this. See, all I use it to fry our eggs or any little thing we can use it. So I'm going to use this pot here. I love to cook in it. I'm going to use it and make my tin mackerel. This is the dumplings on here. I don't know why dumplings have to be foaming like this, but that's how it forms when you cook in it. Because yours are always really fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because in, when I was in Jamaica, you know, some of my friends, they love my, my um, dumplings because they said my dumplings are so fluffy. So as I mentioned this before, this is my oil. I don't, I don't like the ordinary oil. So it's a roasting oil and it's cold pressed rapeseed. It's infused with rosemary, garlic, thyme and sauce and um, sage. So I'm going to dip a little. I'm going to dip a little in my pan. I'm going to let me. Let me get some of the herbs in the bottom. Guys, so I am going to dip some in my pan. Maybe about that amount. And I'm going to give it a chance to get hot. Yeah? I love this tiny, <laughs> I love this pan, but I will have to throw it away one day. I don't know, one day soon. Because I'm also in the midst of buying up some nice new pots. I'm going to throw it away one day. And we're moving soon, that's why. Are we moving soon? Yeah, because for college. I can't be traveling here from here to college. Okay. Here we go now, guys. I'm going to throw in all the ingredients. So here I've got some some red onions and some garlic. Teal, I don't overly like um onions. So and I don't garlic. put a lot in there. Here I've got some sweet peppers, and I like um all three. I like red, green, and gold, so I always get it. But here I've got some sweet peppers. And I also like to use cucumber. So I've got some cucumber I'm going to stick in my pot. And then I've got some tomatoes. So I'm going to stick it all in as well. And I am going to stir it. Here I'm going to add some pepper. I've got a nice piece of scratch, scratch bunny pepper here. So you know you, you can't eat um, tin mackerel without some real pepper. So I add some mustard and I've got some, some chili pepper here as well. So I might just as well ha add a little bit in mm -hmm. there. I'm gonna cover it for a bit guys and allow it to steam allow all those um, stuff that I put in to steam up a bit um, 
You know when we are using tin here, when we are using tin, we wash all the tins. We don't open a tin without washing it because in case anything is in there. So I have to wash my tin. But I have a problem because I don't have a tin opener and I don't choose to get one because I, I like to honor my grandmother by using the knife to cut my tins because this is one of my grandmother's favorite. <laughs> no matter how many, no matter how many, um, no matter how many towels my grandmother has, she uses her hand to lift the pot. So I'm going to use my hand to lift the cover there. And I'm going to give a little stir. This is sizzling so nicely. So I'm going to cover. Then, I've got my black pepper there as well. I might tip a little bit more of this rapeseed oil in. Here I've got my pink Himalayan salt because I don't use table salt. I don't use table salt, so I'm gonna squeeze a little, just grind a little bit in there because you know tomato and tomato and cucumber is very um fresh. That's squeeze a little bit of salt on there. Then I'm going to open my tin. So you see how I use the knife. Don't try this at home. It's dangerous. But as I said, we learned to cut it like this because this was one of my grandmother's style to cut tins with a knife. So you, if you're doing it, you have to have gauge And a good, nice, strong hand. Yeah? Trust me, I don't, I don't like these big things. I'd rather the smaller ones. It's got too much in there. So here we are. On here, I'm going to tip a little bit of black pepper. The other thing, guys, we don't use measurement. We use our discretion. Some of us don't use measurement because you use your discretion to add. So add a bit of that. And then... I'm a big fan of apple cider vinegar with the mother. If you can see this one, it's from Alan and Barrett. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. So, I tell you what, you cannot cook tin mackerel without a bit of vinegar and some lime juice. I normally use lime juice for it, um, but the natural ones, but I haven't got no natural ones today. So, I am going to tip a little bit of my vinegar on here so it, it adds to the taste. It adds to the taste of the mackerel and it takes away any rawness. And I've got I've got some lemon juice here. I'm also going to put a tiny tip 
of lemon juice on my mackerel. Uh, uh, let me, oops. And that adds to the taste as well, yeah? And then we stir. Maybe we need a little bit more of black pepper. Mm -mm, that pepper's gonna burn. It probably is gonna be um, spicy, but who cares? Me? We like spice, ain't it? Not too much, now. So I have cooked this with some, I'm gonna taste. Perfect. So this is cooked now. Can you see the gravy? It's cooked with some, with tomatoes, onion, garlic, peppers, and I like to add some cucumber. So that's what I did. And on top of that, once I put the mackerel in, I add my own apple cider vinegar with the mother and some lime juice and that boosts the taste. So let me cover it for a few, about two minutes to, to let it cook a little bit because the fish already cooked anyway. So I'll come back to you and show you the finish bit. Okay, please like and share. I'll come back and show you the finish. We hear the grumbling of your belly. I know, I'm starving. So it's now, what time is it? It's now um, maybe two o'clock. Um, so this is the finished product, guys. So this is my three cornmeal dumplings. I like more cornmeal more than flour in my dumplings. See how fluffy they look? And that's my finish. Um, pilchards or tin mackerel, if you like, with all the ingredients and that's so nice here's my glass with some ice and here i've got some ribena some apple juice apple juice ribena and lime so i'm gonna pour myself a glass of juice here and i'm going to cut i'm going to cut my dumpling and let you see how fluffy it is Look at that, guys. That's how fluffy my dumpling is. So, when you have, when you cut it, you just put it in the sauce, that mackerel sauce, and you eat. Mmm, guys, I can't begin to tell you. It's so spicy, and it's so nice, and the dumplings are so 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 fluffy. I am enjoying this is my steak because I don't eat meat so I've got a cousin who you cannot give her anything on a Sunday but rice and peas and chicken because that's the tradition we were brought up in but here on my own I have my own lifestyle so it doesn't matter if if on a Wednesday I feel for some rice and peas I'll cook it if I feel for it on a Saturday I'll cook it but also on a Sunday if I feel for some cornmeal porridge on a Sunday I'm gonna cook it and if I feel for some soup on a Sunday I'm gonna cook it so today this is to show you that we don't eat things because that's what we afford. We eat it because that's what we feel to eat. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to thank you for watching. While I talk in, please like my video. Please share it. Leave me a comment what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. Tati Bai, I'm off to eating my Sunday steak. 
Yes, yes, look at that, guys. Look at that. My skin is full now, so... I couldn't actually eat all the three dumplings, but I'm satisfied. It's so spicy and it leaves all that spice in my mouth. <sighs> Go on, get cooking. Cook some spicy um, pilchard, some spicy tin mackerel, as we called it, with some cornmeal dumpling, guys, and you will be happy you did. So tasty. Don't forget your apple cider vinegar with the mother. Thank you for watching.